Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Very excited that you're here today. Today we are talking about my fall capsule wardrobe. Recently I did a wardrobe basics for fall and I asked if you guys wanted to see my capsule wardrobe and I got a resounding yes. Let me tell you how this is all going to roll out. I'm going to talk about all of the things that I have in my capsule wardrobe. I'm not going to do any try-ons or anything like that for you because you will be seeing all of this in my what I'm wearing right now videos which is kind of like my weekend outfits and or you will be seeing them on reels, shorts, TikTok, all of the platforms. <laughs> My thinking on capsule wardrobes is that while it may seem like there are hard and fast and very stringent rules around capsule wardrobes, that's not really the case. The capsule wardrobe is well, it's your closet. You can do whatever you want. You can set up the rules for your capsule wardrobe however you want. I tend to approach my capsule wardrobe in modules. And if you're not familiar with what a module is, a module is kind of like a mini capsule or a subset of a capsule wardrobe. It is comprised of six garments. It has an outer layer, two bottoms, and three tops. So I will set up multiple modules and I'm also bending the rules a little bit here because again my closet my rules and so I have a module that is specifically just dresses. I have so many sweater dresses and I love wearing sweater dresses during the winter. I don't count my shoes, my handbags, scarves, and other accessories in the capsule because for me those items are things that are the seasoning to the recipe so to speak. They are the things that bring in a little bit of change, a little bit of spice, they make having a capsule wardrobe a lot more fun. So I do not count in any of those items in the garment count. I just count my clothes. This capsule wardrobe is designed to go from October through the end of the year. There's a high likelihood that things are going to be in and out of this capsule, especially as we get closer to the holiday season, because I'll want to be talking more about holiday dressing and things like that. So things will probably change in this capsule in those months, but not the entire thing. Before we dive in, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the sponsors of my channel, and that is the style squad if you're not familiar with what the style squad is it is my membership here on youtube if you're on desktop if you look down at the subscribe bar you'll see a little box that says join you hit that a video will pop up that will go over all of the different perks that are in the style squad so if you're interested in signing up have a look after you're done with this video for those of you ladies that have signed up thank you so much you are my people i truly appreciate you the number of modules i have are five so that's giving me 30 pieces total for the next three months this is going to be a bit of a long video so grab a sandwich a cup of coffee a glass of wine whatever and have a seat Let's go ahead and dive in. The first module is what I call the dark module. It starts out with my navy blue and black checkout blazer that I recently picked up from Cabby. I love this blazer and I wanna wear the crap out of it this season. This is the cornerstone of the dark module. For the two bottoms, the first one, I am bringing in my navy blue Aritzia twirl skirt. You knew this was gonna make it into the capsule. I could not leave it out, especially with such a wonderful blazer. And then I have the pants that go with the blazer. These are the checkout trousers from Cabby. They do still need to be altered, so you won't be seeing them right away. I do have to take them down the street to get them hemmed up. Once they get back, they will start actively becoming a part of the capsule. But I absolutely love these pants. And I love the fact that I have a suit because of course, if you watched my wearable trends video, that is a current trend. And I absolutely want to participate in that trend. Then I am bringing in this little red peplum sweater from Free Assembly. I recently hauled this from a Walmart haul and I decided to hang on to it because it was so cute and so pretty. And I really love the peplum bottom on it. I really love popping navy blue and black with red. I think that that's such a fantastic combination. As you can see, I still have the tags on it. I still haven't worn it yet, but it will be broken in here pretty soon. For top number two, I am bringing in my black satin button down with a puff sleeve. This is from Eloquy. I got this last year. I don't think it is available anymore. 
but I will link something similar. I really love the fact that it has a deep V. It's got a very interesting color and I like the sleeves a whole lot. I think that they're really, really nice and I figured that this was a really beautiful piece to bring into this dark module. For top number three, this empty hanger represents the white merino wool tank top that I have ordered from Banana Republic. It is on its way to me. It will be a part of module number one, but I have this hanger as a placeholder for it. Moving on to the second module, which is what I call the light ish module <laughs> starting out with the outerwear i'm bringing in my oversized blazer that i picked up from h m love the fact that it has contrasting black buttons i really love this blazer it's nice and heavy and so it will do well in the fall and then as the temperatures cool down it will also accommodate really nicely as a jacket my white wide leg pants these are the ones that i have right now these are from eloquy they're the pin tuck wide leg pant i am on the hunt for another white wide leg pant to replace these because these are getting old and are starting to show their age. For now, this is what I've got incorporated in, but if I find a replacement at any point, then I will swap it out at that point. I could not leave this skirt out. This is my paper bag waist faux leather skirt that I picked up from Walmart last year. This is by Time and True. This is a true treasure in my wardrobe and I love, love, love styling this skirt and wearing it during the fall and winter. I am bringing in my cream colored satin button down shirt. This I picked up from H&M. They do have this shirt available. I don't know if they have it in the ivory, but for sure I know they have it in like a dark brown and a couple of other colorways. It is a fabulous, fabulous fabulous satin button down shirt. It's an elevated basic and uh, I love wearing it, especially during the fall and winter. So I'm going ahead and bringing this in. Then I am bringing in this beautiful cable knit peanut butter toned sweater, turtleneck sweater that I got from Mango. In the earlier part of the season, this is gonna go draped over my shoulders. Otherwise, this is going to be one of the tops in this capsule. I just really, really love this sweater a lot. Um, I know that a lot of you may have issue with turtleneck. I will try and find something similar without the turtleneck if you're interested, but I really, really love this shade of peanut butter and I thought that it would work very, very well alongside the creams and the whites of the light module. Then the last top that I have for this capsule is this beautiful floral top that I picked Picked up from Walmart last year. It is by The Get and what I really love about it is that it has a lot of really beautiful tones of yellow or like a marigold, um, nudie, pink, burgundy, black. It's just a really really beautiful little top. It has really nice ruffles on the sleeves, on the collar, along the back, as well as on the end of the sleeve. It's got some smocking there. I just really love, love, love this top for the fall. It's got a lot of really fantastic fall tones in it, and so I could not not bring it in. It has to come in. That is the light-ish module. Now this next module is what I am calling almost like my wild card and this module that I'm about to go over is probably the one that is going to get switched out. The outer layer doesn't always have to be like a coat jacket blazer. It can be a cardigan and so I am bringing in this beautiful puff sleeve crop cardigan that I picked up from Eloquy almost two years ago now. I absolutely love this. I love 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 bringing it out in the fall. I like the fact that it has a deep V. It's cropped. It's just a very very flattering cardigan for my body type and I absolutely love it so I had to bring it in then for the first bottom I have this skirt it's I've got it folded because it's very heavy it's a heavy knit skirt that I picked up from anthropology it is maxi length on me I really really love the colorway of this skirt it is really beautiful kind of very fall and Halloween type colors it just reminds me of the changing leaves and of Halloween and I really enjoyed styling this last year and I'm gonna go ahead and break it out and style it again this year. It's a beautiful, beautiful skirt that has really great colors. By the way, I'm calling this module my color module because it's based off of this particular skirt and it's just got a really beautiful length and weight and it is made of sweater or knit material and so it's perfect for, first of all, the maxi trend and secondly, the winter or the cooler months. For the second bottom, my black wide leg pants. These are the ones I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale recently. They're by Halogen. For the tops, I am bringing in my beautiful kind of like plum toned v-neck merino wool sweater that I picked up from Banana Republic a couple of years or actually a few years ago. I think we're going on six or seven years ago. I love the tones. It works very well with the skirt. I can see it working with a lot of different pieces in this entire capsule. Then I have this 
rib knit top that I picked up from Target. I don't remember when, I have not worn it. <laughs> and so I figured it's time to bring it out. If I don't end up wearing it, then that means that it's clearly got to go. That's why I've pulled it out to kind of see if I can get it into rotation in my wardrobe. It was in a drawer, that's why it looks a little bit wrinkly. That's one of the reasons I don't wear it is because I had it folded in a drawer. So I went ahead and pulled it out and let's see if I wear it. I really, really love this deep green color. This is a color that is trending pretty heavily for or fall and winter as well. I like the saturation of it. And then we have this elevated tee that I picked up from Walmart recently. This is Eloquy Elements. I love the fact that it has the buttons here and it's got a really nice little puff sleeve. It is made of t-shirt material. This is a fabulous little t-shirt. I love the fact that I've got that gold detail here on the, um, on the shoulders. I am super excited to start styling it a little bit more. The next module that I have is the gray module. I love gray I don't wear it enough I don't think and so I wanted to bring that in to the mix a little bit more I have this fantastic Tahari blazer that I found thrifting last year it is different from a lot of the blazers that I have it has pinstriping I also like the fact that it has like a pink liner because it kind of fits in with this module here I love the stitching and the detail and the fit is really really good this is a very high quality blazer that I got for $13 at the thrift store and I absolutely want to take advantage of it and make sure that I am wearing it and so I am bringing this into the capsule. You knew it, the other Aritzia twirl skirt in my wardrobe, my black one. This is a fantastic pleated skirt identical to the navy blue one. I'm gonna have fun wearing that. I have this pair of pants that were from Eloquy. I hauled them last year. They were a return fiasco. I wasn't gonna keep them but returns got confused and so I ended up having to keep them and I really am glad that I did. It's a wide leg trouser in a really pretty gla uh, Glen plaid. It has pink in it. It has blue in it. I didn't remember that it had the blue in it, but for sure I remembered that it had the pink, which I actually really like. These also need to go to the tailor to get hemmed. And so you won't see these right away. I'm gonna go in with the, when I take the other pair of pants in as well and have him hem both of them. So you'll be seeing this coming soon. This is another thrift store find. This is a Diane von Furstenberg cowl neck sweater. It's got like a, a longer back on it. I was so excited when I found it. It is very, very soft and it's not itchy at all. This is another good one to drape over the shoulders while it's still not quite cold yet. And then once it cools down, I can actually wear it. I decided to bring in my little black vest that I picked up from Amazon last year. I can wear it like this right now while it's still not quite cool. As it cools down, I can layer underneath it. It goes with everything in the capsule. And so I figured it was a great little piece to bring in. The last top in this module is this really pretty pink shawl neck t-shirt kind of top that I have. I actually got this from Cabby a few years back, probably, I wanna say at least five years ago. And again, it was like with the green one folded in the same drawer and I came across it and I'm like, you know what? I need to bring you out so I can wear you more. I love the fact that we've got the shawl collar and it's in a really beautiful, very much trending shade of pink. Also, it has ruching on the sides. It's a very, very flattering t-shirt. And like I said, I broke the rules a little bit and I created a module specifically for just dresses. I just can't not wear dresses. I love them too much. So first one is this fantastic, fantastic brown. It's like a reddish brown floral dress from Ella this is a maxi dress on me and I'm okay with it. I'm not mad at it at all. I love the floral print. I love the sheer top that it has here. I also like the fact that the sleeves are sheer and I really love this dress. I think it is so, so, so pretty. It has its own belt, but I will likely wear my own belt with it to change things up a little bit. But I really do love the ruffles that it has. It's just a button down type dress. It's like a shirt dress. And you know that I feel that those are some of the most versatile dresses out there. Then I have this beautiful reformation dress that I have never worn. I bought it during the pandemic. It didn't fit right in the bodice. I went to have it tailored at Nordstrom and so she fixed the bodice issues. Now I get to bring it out. It does fit me long. So again, we're hearkening back to that maxi style that is on trend. I love the fact that it has a cutout on the back. I actually recently sold a scoop dress that was very, very similar. And the reason that I sold that scoop dress is because now I have this one. This is a really well-made dress and I want to wear it and get to enjoy it. It does look very summery, but 
but it can easily be layered. I can wear a sweater or anything like a cardigan over it and that will help to bring it a little bit more into the fall and winter. The next dress that I have in my dress module is my Aritzia Sairi dress, I think is what it's called. It is just a black funnel neck, puff sleeve, merino wool sweater dress. I wore it to bits when I got it last year. I got it in January last year, so it was already the second half of winter, but I look forward to bringing this out as the temperatures drop because it is a fabulous dress. It will work with a belt, without a belt. I've worn it all kinds of ways. I love it with boots, with heels, with flats, with sneakers, doesn't matter. It's gonna look really, really good. I likely won't be able to wear this until the temperatures do get a little bit cooler. So I'm thinking probably around late October is when I'll start to be able to bring this out. Until then, <laughs> I have this beautiful dress. This is one that I recently hauled from Walmart. This is a free assembly dress. It's a red plaid dress with a funnel neck on it. I love this dress. I love the length of it. It has an asymmetrical hemline and I really enjoyed wearing this dress. I wore it the other day, all day and it was super comfortable. It was lightweight enough for this weird summer that won't go away kind of weather and it will transition well into the upcoming months when it starts to cool down. I am also bringing in this dress that I recently hauled from Express. This is a part of their summer lineup but the, the knit is very thick and heavy and so it is very conducive to fall and winter. All I need to do is just do some layering, probably a blazer or a cardigan. It's a very, very long dress. It has a pleated skirt. Very, very flattering dress, incredibly flattering. I love, love, love this dress and cannot wait to start styling it because it is a stunner. The last dress that I have in my module is this sweater dress that I picked up from Walmart as part of my last Walmart haul. This is by Eloqui Elements. It's in a fantastic burgundy color. It has a really great slit at the bottom. It's a maxi length on me, again, fitting into that trend. And it's a really nice thick knit. I really, really like it. I think that it is really beautiful, very comfortable. It's gonna be a workhorse this winter for me. But again, this is a little bit thicker. So this is gonna be one of those dresses that I likely won't start pulling out until mid to late October, once the temperatures really truly start to drop. This is my capsule wardrobe. I'm excited to start styling these for you. Make sure that you are subscribed and you also have the notification bell so that you know when I post new content. Let me know what you think of my fall capsule wardrobe. I look forward to styling these things for you. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. I've picked a wide variety of different things that I think will all work together. That's the fun in capsule wardrobes is seeing how it all comes together. It also helps you to determine what you might need to weed out of your closet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? You know you want to see this capsule wardrobe in action, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my content here. Thank you once again to the Style Squad for helping to support my channel. I truly appreciate you guys you are awesome. Thank you to all of you, as always, for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.